Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome to Transport Fever. Gonna be doing a first look at this game um, and the first part of the campaign. I've went through the tutorial and kind of familiarized myself with some of the key aspects of the game, but you can look at this game as a uh, Sim City or what have you, but focusing on the transportation. Uh, so I think conceptually, it's a really neat idea. I've had fun so far with the tutorial, so let's go ahead and start up the campaign. We're gonna start in America. ...and rise to become the most powerful transport company in the most powerful country in the world. There's seven missions and then there's also two Europe. So, but let's go ahead and start in America here. Um, so... We will bring progress to this barren swath of land full of simple-minded country bumpkins and savage natives. Oh. Transporting the required goods is painstaking and expensive. A railroad from east to west, now that would be a real gold mine. But the competition never sleeps. The Central Pacific Railroad has already started construction on a line from the Pacific. Let's beat them to it and open up the Wild West. There it is. We're going to start here in the Wild West. Welcome to the Wild West. It is the year 1864, and we find ourselves in the tranquil settlement of Cheyenne, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here. Our job, to construct a railroad line to the west, the first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather modest sum of money, but that'll have to do if we don't want to scare them off. If the competition carries on working at the current pace, they're expected to reach the goal before us. Let's spare ourselves this disgrace and get started. All right. Let's go ahead and start this mission. If we want to beat the competition to the goal, we'll need more workers, and workers need feeding. Once okay. they're half full, this business with food could generate some extra income for us. All right, so we're going to have to deliver grain from Cheyenne Farm to the Cheyenne Grain Storage. So the Cheyenne Farm is over here, and we're going to be delivering it from or to the Cheyenne Grain Storage here. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and... They want us to build truck stations first. So we're going to go in here. We're going to build a truck station right across the way here. Literally right across the street. Oh, nope. Boom. So we got a truck. Tr got a truck station there, and we can go to Cheyenne Grain, which is right here. Uh, we'll build a truck station there as well. Not a very you know, far distance to go. Wait, is that what I want to do? Yeah, with the cargo terminals. That is what I want to do. All right. And we also need to construct a uh, road depot, which will give us trucks. So we go in here and we buy road vehicles. And uh, wow, yeah, Wild West, all right. Uh, we're going to have horse carriages. Uh, but we need a horse wagon to transport from back and forth here. We're going to buy this road vehicle. We're going to set the line. Um, which is going to be a new line, and it's going to go from here, whoops, sorry, here to here, and load if available. I'm going to just name this the Cheyenne, whoops, Cheyenne Grain Line. Uh, yeah, they were carry, they were carry grain. That should be good. Are we in play here? What's going on here? Where's our vehicle? And there it's coming out. We can actually go and focus on it. Where is it at? I built the truck stations. And we got the road vehicles. I set the line. Oh, no, I didn't. And there we go. Horse and carriage. Yeah. Talk about, talk about Wild West. This is it. So we can speed it up. Which is really what we're going to want to do. Yeah, this distance, see, this distance doesn't seem a lot when you're looking at it at this far away, as well as, too, when you think about trucks and what have you. But, uh, yeah, it's a decent amount of distance, no doubt. We're going to be delivering grain from Cheyenne Farm to Cheyenne Grain. And then are you carrying anything right now? No, you're not. I have to wait for... Because this is the grain storage. That's the farm. Oh, now there's grain, of course. Right as this left. Uh, then there was grain delivered to there. 
But yeah, we've got to deliver grain, uh, and then we can feed our men and make that make that money. So that's what we're doing here now. So yeah, uh, uh, what I said too prior to getting in here is the thing that I most compared this to. And this is actually cool that there's a a time period and and you work up in your time periods. Um, but what I most compared this to is like a Sim City, but you're not worrying about the stuff that is the I want I don't want to say obnoxious stuff. I like those kind of games. I like Sim City, and I like that kind of idea. I think the newest Sim City was a miss in a couple different ways. Um, because as a as a young child, I played a ton of Sim City uh, 3000 and a couple other different like of the Sim Cities back then, and they had such depth to them. Oh, there we go. Four out of four. So we should be able to deliver, and you can even, I think, go into first person in this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so messed up. The one thing I wish, though, uh, that we had is I wish the time uh, controls were on uh, the uh, tilde one, two, three, and f well, tilde and then one, two, three, or one, two, three, and four on the keyboard, because that was like how they're set up in. Uh, in SimCity and a couple other games, and I always liked that. It was always quicker than going down here and actually, like, selecting them. Unless there's a shortcut for it, I'll have to look, or if I can bind those. That would be nice if I could bind them, but I'm not gonna, you know, expect something that's like that. Just be very cool. All right, there we go. So we delivered that. So what... Oh, that's only one of four, though. Oh, Okay. We gotta pick up some more. So we've got railroad stuff that we've gotta get done, but I don't think it wants us to do that yet. Does it? No, it still wants us to do this first. Oh, there we go. In order not to fritter away our meager starting capital already on the first leg of the journey, it'd be sensible to choose a route that avoids costly blasting operations to build time. Okay. So we're gonna build the rail line from Cheyenne to Laramie. So to avoid, we gotta avoid that. We are essentially gonna wanna go around here, kind of follow this road system. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, you just, that's gonna be, like they said, costly. So that's a good area to lay tracks inex inexpensively, the valley that connects them. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and switch over here to our rail line and build our standard track. So we can build these in sections. So look, look at the cost. Look at the cost. It would just be way too expensive. But if we go down here, oh God, nope, get me out of this. We go down here, look how cheap that is. We can go straight right there. We can build up to that point. And then we can, uh, let's just hit regular play here. And then we can go right around here. Whoa, don't go that too far there. We can build right there. Boom. We're gonna have to, we should probably try to follow right here. And then swoop right here. Boom. Straight through here. Where's the train station over here? Oh, we have to build that. Okay. We can do that. <laughs> Put you across here. And actually, we should probably build this train station first and then kind of go based off of that. So let's do that. Music, though. It's pretty great. Okay. So can, can we connect that then? We do this. Boom. We connected that. And we can just get our rail line. That's kind of stupid of me. Brain alignment. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm stupid. Should have thought of that first. Should have thought of that first. Shouldn't have. Huh. We can make a short turn there. That was dumb of me. Can't do it. Unable. Unable. Let's go ahead then and just go back a little bit here. Nope, still a terrain alignment error. But if I do it that way, it works. Wonderful. Not sure about the logic there, but 
However, we're already encountering our first difficulties. It was very good of the government to place this land at our disposal free of charge. If it weren't for those damned Indians, they've pitched their tents oh. right in the middle of our planned route. Our damned seem to think they're Indians. rather displeased with the white man and his iron horse. And that's oh. Awesome. What are we going to do here? Click on the exclamation point. Let's get out of this mode. Those damned Indians, they're mm. sabotaging our work and are said to have physically attacked some of our men. We need to do something. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of equivalent value, which could get pretty costly, or we could settle it the old-fashioned way, yeah. which would probably cost us our good reputation in certain circles. Or else we could try to bribe them with fire water, although its consumption is... Certain, so, you know what? It's one of those things where it's like, we look back... I, I I have to do what's right, and it's not even a political thing. It's a you should you should all we should have always done what's right, kind of thing. So, mine exchange land costs us two million dollars, but it's the right way to, to do it. Some decisions decisions affect later events, like maybe two that'll give us goodwill with them, and they won't do it out of just the sake of it uh, blocking us or whatever what have you. So we can we negotiated with them. So let's go ahead and build the rail line from Laramie to Rollins. Uh, and what's the simplest way to do that here? Uh, I said it cost that, but it didn't actually do it. Hmm, I don't know what that's about. But let's go ahead and build our tracks through here. Nope, you're going to want to bend. We're going to build to there. Bend through here. Boom. And then we're just going to go right through there to Rollins. Boom shakalaka. And then let's build a passenger station in Rollins before we hook everything up here. So we can do a train station right here. Actually, you know what? We should probably do a train station like this. Then it'll pop. Well, yeah, but then I like it at the end of the road, too, though. So let's do that. Let's finish out our track here. We're just going to bend it around. Boom. Beautiful. The problem with the Indians has been settled, but we've already encountered yep. our next challenge. Before what is that? Before we miles and miles of nothing but bone dry step, we'll need to make sure this we way. run out of water. However, there should be iron ore deposits that we can exploit to earn a bit of extra money and to produce tools. Okay. So there's iron ore deposits that we can exploit to earn a bit of extra money. Uh, take the route past at least three wells. Okay. We can do that. So we'll build a passenger station in Evanston, which we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and do that a while. Let's do it along the line. So whatever, you know, makes the most sense here. I think that makes the most sense based on our on our path of uh, our paths we're gonna head here. So we can kind of avoid this and just go whoop. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out this way. And then we're gonna swoop. Oh, swoop. Make a short swoop. <laughs> you know, technical terms. Uh, we're gonna go right through this well. Right to it. Swoop. <laughs> oh, that'll get us. Like a short swoop. Is this? Oh, I have to go like that, and that'll swoop right through there. Swoop, perfect. Uh, collision of what? What type of collision? Don't know what type of collision was going on there, but that'll get us through three. And then we'll get to the next train station here. Boom. The workers are refusing to lift a finger. They're claiming cool. that they haven't been paid for months. No idea whether that's right, but we're pretty short on money, and it's only a matter of time before the investors pull the plug on funding us. We could put off paying our guys until next month and promise them double wages in return. Or there's another alternative over in Ogden. What's that? What's the other alternative in Ogden? Okay, let's go over to Ogden and see what this other alternative is. 
hardworking people live in Ogden who outright refuse to accept the progress of civilization. They would work for us for almost nothing. In return, we only need to help them build a new bridge so that they can get their harvest across the river to the village. Oh, okay. So we can either choose to end the strike um, by paying our workers. Uh, or we can put off paying workers. No consequences. Um, and then this is addition in addition to? No, I think this would be se uh, separate from. Eh, let's pay our workers. They, they, there's a strike. Finally, we'll pay our workers. Unfortunately, our tools are worn out and dreadfully inefficient. We Great. should have our men make new ones. There's an abundance of iron ore in the area. This will save us money and we'll make faster progress. So, the Rollins Iron Ore Mine. We want to build freight stations next to the Iron Ore Mine and the Laramie Tools Factory. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to build a freight station. Wait, where the hell is that at? <laughs> the truck stations? Right? Or legitimately freight stations? Oh yeah, freight stations, train stations. Okay. Let's build them. Nope. Flip that around. Doopity doopity doopity. Boom. Um, and let's connect these tracks up. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. And then, well, just for the sake of it. So there's not a, mm. I want my tracks connected. No. Too much curvature. I'll give you too much curvature. Hey, I just want all my tracks connected properly, you know? These are definitely not connected properly. <laughs> not at all. Is that too much to ask, you know, for my tracks connected in the proper ways? They definitely don't look. Maybe they are. I don't know. That just doesn't look right. Here, you know what we can do? We can just do it right here, right? And then we can just... What is happening? What's that about? Maybe I'm doing something wrong. What am I doing? Come on. Come on. Jerks. Collision with what? Maybe that is technically connected. I don't like how it looks. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Hey, if it works, it works, but it just doesn't look right in any sense of the way. All right, let's go ahead and build one with the Laramie Tools Factory, which is over here. Uh, we'll build a, another freight station here. Do, 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 do. Again, whatever's easiest. Which I feel like that makes that the easiest and we'll connect that by road or whatever. Connect it via a small street. Perfect. And then we'll connect these up with some track. Come on, again, you just don't look right. You know, it probably is fine, it just doesn't look right. Oh, Ugh. Boom. See, like that? <laughs> Idiot. Whatever. I make it work though, right? I make it work. These just don't look right, whenever these end, whatever. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we built a depot, we gotta build a depot and buy a freight train that can transport iron ore. So if we build a depot right, where'd you build the depot? Wow, this is a kind of a decent size of track here. Okay, build a depot like right here. Logical, let's do that. Boom. That comes right out onto there. We can build, we can buy a train. 
Oh, yeah, look at this. Old six wheels. Or the general. We're gonna buy the general. And we gotta buy some wagons, which we need a freight train that can transport iron ore. Uh, so is that that? Yeah, iron ore. Yep, we're gonna buy that. How many do we need? So, two stools. Mm, I'll just buy a couple cars. Our loan has already been used up. Oh no. Investors won't like that. But if we ask nicely, maybe they'll give us a little bit more. Oh, I highly doubt they will. Oh, they did. Okay. Oof. All right. We got four freight cars on here. Let's set the line for this guy. Which is going to be a line from you. To... You. 